Hi, I'm George Pierce. This video is part of a training series, a video training series about making money online as an affiliate marketer. Specifically, we're on a quest to earn at least $100 a day, at least $100 a day in 8 to 12 weeks, if not sooner. We're using the keto diet as our niche. However, this training will work for any niche. So if you want to make money from home, from the comfort of your home if you, or anywhere in the world. If you want to begin part-time with the potential of going full-time, and if you want something that you can start with zero cost, with no money out of pocket, I invite you to join us on this quest. This is the sixth video in this series, and you'll find a link below to uh, the first video in this series. We're in the process of creating our landing page for one of our keto affiliates and that affiliate is Custom Keto Diet. And we're at the point where we're working on our what's called our CTA, our call to action. And our call to action is going to entail what's called email capture, which means that that email capture is going to help us to build our list. And it's going to do that. It's going to help us to build our list by asking for an email address in exchange for an incentive and it's also going to help us to make sales. We're going to use what's called an opt-in form or an email sign-up form. So we're going to need an autoresponder and we're also going to need an incentive. And we already have our incentive from Custom Keto Diet and that is a keto recipe book. We'll get to the autoresponder shortly. Uh, we're doing all this for free. To begin, I want you to be aware of some of the little tricks, some of the little strategies, some of the little things that are happening on our landing page so that you're going to be able to, uh, to understand the process and to repeat this process again and again and again with other affiliates. And of course the idea is that these tips and tricks and strategies and so on are going to help, help you, help us to make conversions, to make them more easily, to make them faster, quicker and so forth. First and foremost, as you know, is that our landing page is built around our giveaway. Building a landing page around your giveaway, it makes it a lot easier to get that email capture because that's what they're coming for, is that giveaway so they're much more willing to give you their address in exchange for the incentive. And next, notice, I want you to notice that uh, we are going to immediately let our customers know that our incentive is soon to follow. A good rule is on the on a landing page is to have that in each section of the page. Now the other thing I want to share with you is that the action in our call to action should be a logical next step. In order for this call to action to work smoothly, we want to make that a logical next step. So in our case, the action is that we want our visitor to fill in the form and then after they fill in the form we want them to continue so click continue and we also want them to watch our video so it's essential that we include that video we, we, we have to let them know that there's a video that that's coming as well and it's an amazing video and they can look forward to watching the video but we want to make sure that we include that in other words in that call to action if we don't include it and then they're hit with a video well they're probably not going to watch it they're that's not what they were expecting but if we let them know they're much more likely to watch the video and the video is the sales video so the video is going to make our sales so we certainly want them to watch that video and i also want you to see that the submit button does not say submit it doesn't say grab your copy or or whatever it says continue it's one of my favorite words to use on a submit button it's the whole process is that we want them to continue so this is the next step continue the idea is that if you're our visitor you came to our landing page for keto recipes breakfast well, we've got keto recipes breakfast and here's how you get them so it's it's kind of that simple we have the, the incentive you want the incentive fill out the form and click continue and you're going to get the incentive and you're also going to get to watch an amazing video about keto that's really going to be of help to you now when new subscribers join our list 
we're going to need to send them emails. So let's talk about our emails. After your confirmation email, your first email is a welcome email. It's going to include a link to your incentive. You want to set this up, set this email up to go out immediately after your confirmation. It's our first email. It's also our first impression. It can help us a lot to kind of set the stage for future emails. Your subject line is extremely important because a good subject line means that our emails are going to get opened and a bad subject, subject line means they're not. So it's very important that we have a good subject line. According to email research, a subject line between six and 10 words has the maximum open rate, and that's around 21%. According to MailChimp, you don't want to have your subject line more than nine words and no more than 60 characters. So it depends on who you talk to, but let's say between six and nine words is going to be uh, should equal your best open rate. Something that I strongly suggest in every email subject line is that you let people know who that email is from. When they know who it's from, if they know it's from you and they like your emails, if they know it's from you or your company or Keto Diet Center or, or All About Keto or whatever, uh, whatever name you choose as the sender, they see that name, they're going to open the, the email. And when they don't see a name, they're less likely to open an email. So again, I strongly suggest that you include the sender, the name of the sender in every subject line in order to help your open rate. We're gonna cover that in a little bit more detail in our next video, which is gonna be about our interim page. Now also on the subject line, uh, some people say not to personalize. I think that's becoming more and more the trend. I still personalize. But uh, the trend is to not personalize. Apparently, that's kind of getting old hat. It's getting worn out a little bit. So I still personalize, but in this case, you want to do as, as I do not do. And of course, you can always split tests to see which works better for you. Something else that's changed that you might be surprised to hear about is that the word welcome is no longer recommended on our subject line. I guess that welcome has also been you know, overused and worn out. Appar apparently emailers have worn out their welcome. Now the subject line that I came up with is look what look what you got from Keto Diet Center and then first name and you don't need to use that first name. The idea is that it's, it's not a question but it's still an attention grabber and it, by the way questions are also out. You want to grab that attention so look what you got is attention grabbing and we'll help you to get that opened, that email open. The uh, subject line is nine words and of course if we don't personalize it's eight words long and about 40 characters. And the subject line uh, also says that the email is from Keto Diet Center. Statistically, you should average about 20%, somewhere between 15 and 20 25% as far as your open rate. We want to do better than that, and we should do better than that with a thoughtful subject line such as I'm talking about. And of course, we want to do everything that we can do in order to improve our open rates. That's why I'm sharing these little tricks with you, and that's why an interim page is going to be so helpful as well. Again, that's the next video. And, and the reason why I'm, I'm kind of hitting you with interim page, interim page, interim page is because, because most affiliates omit that page, and they're really missing out. It's kind of a good thing because the more people that do not do an interim page, that means there's more affiliates that are missing out and we're not. Let's talk about the email itself, our welcome email. And on all of our emails, actually on all of our correspondence, all of our emails, uh, all of our web pages, I recommend that we have our header and our footer. And we can use the same header that we used on our landing page as our header. We can use the same we can use the same header, we can use the same footer. 
so they're already made we've already made them in the previous video just like our landing page what this does is that's going to add some uh, professionalism to our to our email that gives us that little extra edge when it comes to branding when it comes to open rate so that professionalism can help us now what you're seeing behind me are uh, the same welcome emails with two free autoresponders and one is a Weber and that's free up to 500 subs and that's not a trial it's it's totally free up to the first 500 subs the other is Builderall which is free to infinity and Builderall is kind of new to me so I wanted to make sure that this would work on Builderall so that's why you're seeing Builderall as well and below you will find a link to my ultimate list of resources and that ultimate list is going to include a Weber builder all and all kinds of other links that are going to help you with just about everything and anything to do with affiliate marketing our welcome email should have uh, three parts at least in addition to the header and the footer should have three parts and the first part is what I call the welcome part and that's like we're excited to have you we're happy to have you uh, we're on your side we're rooting for you we're excited for you we're here to help and so forth the second part is what I call the giveaway part and of course that's kind of obvious that's where we're going to give away that's where we're going to provide a link to our incentive and if you recall our incentive includes links to our affiliate every link is a link to our affiliate that's a link that's going to have your affiliate link so for that reason alone we certainly want people to download our ebook so it's not a bad idea to add a little bit of sales appeal but we don't want to make our subscriber feel as though they're being sold so now I strongly suggest that your download link goes to a download page and we're going to talk about that in just a moment the third part of our, our, of our welcome letter where we should tell our subscriber about what is next in almost every email it's a good idea to tell them about what is next in our welcome email we can either tell them what's coming next or we can kind of give them an overview of all the things or some of the things that they can expect from our email some of the ways they're going to benefit and the reason for this of course is to get that next email open and to get all future emails open our second email through our sixth email are already made for us and these are the emails that are available from custom keto diet and they provided us again with five emails simply change the emails to your links add the header add the footer add any other uh, you can add anything else that you might want maybe some more images on the first one because it's kind of a long email and then again add the header and the footer and now you've got six emails that are ready to go let's take a quick peek at the download page again the download page I suggest it the the header and the footer and the first thing you want to do is to identify that page as the keto recipes download page and the idea is that that tells the visitor that they are in the right place that's part of our customer optimization here's the main reason why I'm sharing that page with you it includes a surprise bonus and of course that's a bonus that's going to be helpful and it's going to be free this little bonus is going to help you more than you might think in future emails and in future add-ons how or why is this little bonus helping you well, I'm glad you asked almost all of our subscribers are going to visit this page and the reason why is that that's the reason why they've signed up for our emails so by giving them a bonus what you've done is you've improved your future click-through rate and in the future you can give away additional free bonuses as well as sprinkle in some add-ons added sales items now, this is a great idea but where do you get these free giveaways a site that I use and like is free PLR downloads and you'll find a link in my ultimate list of resources 
As you can see, free PLR downloads can help us with incentives in almost any niche. Okay, I want you to know about free PLR downloads. Most all of the downloads that you're going to receive, as far as ebooks especially, are going to include things like sales pages, resale rights, um, e covers, and so forth. So we want to be sure to eliminate, to delete everything except for the ebook. Now, in order to provide your visitors with downloads, if you don't have a web host that you can upload to, I suggest Triple O Web Host and SaberCat. Both are free and also on my ultimate list. Our next step is our interim page. Some of the other things that you have to look forward to in this training series, we still have three killer, absolutely killer keywords that we're going to be cloning three more pages around. We're going to be using YouTube and TikTok to uh, drive traffic. This is going to be for immediate traffic. Don't let video trouble you in any way. Don't worry about it. Uh, because you're going to see how you can create these videos quickly, easily, for free. You don't even need a camera and you don't need to be in front of a camera. We're also going to be applying what we are learning in Custom Keto to other affiliates, other keto affiliates, other keto products. And that, that alone is mind-blowing because there's so many fantastic keto affiliates out there and keto products that we can make money from. And then the icing on the cake is our Keto Diet Center. And what that's going to be is a, is a content website that's going to be built around all these affiliates. It's going to be built around keto. And when we get into the content part of the training, you're going to realize, you're going to see the power, I mean the amazing power of mixing content and SEO. It, it just so happens that the search engines absolutely love good content coupled with good SEO. So the power that I'm talking about is that these search engines are going to send us traffic, swarms of traffic, free traffic, organic traffic, the very best possible traffic that we could ask for and we're going to get it for free. And as the site grows, so will our amazing free traffic. If you found value in this video, I certainly hope you have. Give it a big thumbs up if you would. I'd appreciate that. Hit that like button right now. Thank you so much. And if you haven't yet joined this channel, consider subscribing. Hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so that you're going to get notified when these videos are published. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I appreciate you. Allow me to wish you much success and I'll see you in the next video.